I need to replace my cab airbag. There's an easy way to do it. What happened that this airbag, I already removed it. It broke, bottom part, plastic, just got ripped out. So I cut that airbag in half and took the bottom part out. It already was ripped out and unscrewed. You need something to grab on real, like huge pliers or something. Sometimes there's a nut inside and sometimes it turns with the bolt. So you need to weld it. Uh, some people actually just cut that part out and use a wrench. I did the easy way. I just weld it a little bit inside. Uh, one was okay when I replaced it. This one was turning. So I just took a couple of zips and just anchored it. Then I unscrewed it. Now I I jacked, it, jacked that cap up, look at it. Oh, then, uh, like I put a jack, then uh, there's a two by four, cut to the size, and there's on the bottom, so I don't damage the cap. See, like I tried to jack it right here, a few years back, and look at it. Because cap is so heavy, don't try it. Just put it like um, two by four underneath, then cut, cut, to the, cut to the side, and then put a jack and jack it up. I need probably a little more about an inch more and easy just stick that airbag underneath thread with your hands and just stick it on the bottom put it quick connect and you're good uh, and i have to do something about that cabling because that uh, it's shifted to the right so i probably have to remove that bolt and drill a hole a little bit to the right and to the top so make that bar shorter or I'll have to cut it, cut a piece out, maybe a quarter inch and weld it together. I'll do either one. So my cap wouldn't lean. It's actually shifted like about half an inch to the right. And that's what makes that airbag get damaged. When you just, I was bobtailing and just hit a big bump on the turn. That cam just yanked to the right and ripped that airbag out. That's how you do it. You need to jack the cab up and it's easy to install it.